This is probably the most I've made when testing out a product on the first couple of days, which is crazy. We were able to make a profit of- Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we're gonna be trying out the 72 hour dropshipping challenge from scratch. I'm actually really excited and I wasn't even gonna record this video, but I thought like, why not show the process of testing a new product? And I think this one has a lot of potential. So we're gonna find our product, build our website and launch the ads all together so you guys can see each step of the way and hopefully motivate you because you can do this too. My intentions with this video is not to make dropshipping sound easy at all because we all know that's not the case. I just wanna bring some value to you guys and hopefully answer some of your questions so you can start your own dropshipping business. I also wanna be realistic and honest with you guys throughout our whole journey so you guys can see all the struggles I go through and the wins if we have any. Because I've actually been dropshipping for the past four years and have only been successful for the past six months. So there's a lot of ups and downs, mostly downs, but that doesn't mean you can't make it happen or that it won't work. A lot of you guys are scared to even try dropshipping or any business model really, while there's others that are too scared to stop. Because I know for a fact that you see other people literally living your dream life, but the difference is that they took action. They probably failed too, but they weren't scared to actually try again. So no matter where you are in this journey, take the risk. Take a step towards your goals because you're going to get there. All right, so now let's get started with our challenge. I know I said we were going to find our product together, but I actually found a product that I think has a lot of potential just by scrolling through TikTok. And the reason why I think there's a lot of potential with this product, it's basically because it solves a huge problem for many people. It's a posture corrector that literally fixes your posture and snatches your waist. So that's definitely the product I want to test for this challenge. I'm assuming you don't have your product picked yet, so I'm going to show you my way of finding my products. A lot of people already know about this, but not that many are talking about it. All right, so I have my computer right in front of me, and what you want to do is go to TikTok um, Business Creative Center, and there you're literally going to find a lot of products and ads from people literally advertising on TikTok. But as you can see, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of ads of people selling some kind of product. There's literally a bunch. What I really like about this is that you can actually play the ads and see which ones work, which ones perform better, and the ones that doesn't. And when you click the ad, um, there you're going to see everything about this ad, where they're targeting, um, their objective, literally they provide you with their website. So you're basically getting free product lists, their website, their creative, and where they're targeting all for free. And don't get me wrong, this is not the only way. There's a lot more ways to find winning products, but this is a nice start for those that doesn't want to pay like spy tools or anything like that. All right, now that we have our product, the only thing left is building our website and then launching the ads. So now I'm going to take a second to build our product page and then come back to show you guys what it looks like. Hey guys, I'm back and I literally built this product page so fast. It literally took me like 40 minutes. So now I'm going to be showing you guys what it looks like on my phone just because we're doing TikTok ads and most people use their phones anyways. The first thing we see are the product pictures, which I literally edited them all on Canva, which is free. You guys can use it. I try to brand this product as much as possible. So I literally added my logo in every single picture. And I also made sure that they were a really good quality picture to actually show the product in a nice way. Scrolling down, we have the name, the price, and three key benefits on why the customer should buy this product. Like I said in my last video, you guys have to be careful with the amount of text you put in your product pages. People are not going to read five paragraphs about the product. Because they already clicked on your website, they're already with the intention of buying. So you just need to give them a little bit more reasons why they should buy it. So just be careful with the amount of text you put in your product pages because people are not going to read it. You're going to waste your time and theirs and you're probably not going to get a conversion just because you're going to be overwhelmed with the amount of text in your product page. Um, and then scrolling down here, we have the color, the size options. And I also put in the option of buying just one or if they want to buy two and say 15%. I think that's the discount um, I applied. I put a little review under the add to cart button just because if people don't scroll down all the way, um, they can see a review at the top and they don't have to sc um, scroll all the way down. And then scrolling, you have what makes our product different. I just gave, an, again, three reasons, like really three short reasons why they should buy the product. You just need to give them a little extra push in order to purchase the product. 
And then scrolling down, I added the before and after pictures, which are really important in any product you're selling. You have to sell the result. People want to see how they're going to benefit from your product. So make sure to always add the before and after picture, no matter what product you're selling. And then scrolling down, I just put some simple stuff just to show more credibility um, to our store. And then a gift showcasing the product and how it works and then reviews. And that's it guys. All right, we have our product, we build our website. Now it's time to launch these ads. All right, so I have my computer right here with the um, TikTok ads manager already open. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys what's the testing campaign strategy that I use when I'm testing out a product. The first thing you're gonna do is always choose websites conversions, no matter what, I always choose website conversions. For the website, I mean, not the website, the campaign name, you just pick whatever you want, really. I'm just going to do CBO, which this campaign is going to be a CBO. One testing strategy. Uh, actually, let's just put testing. That's fine. And then for the campaign budget optimization, you're going to put 50 bucks and then press continue. Right, when you get to this page, you don't really need to change the ad group name. I never do. And then for the optimization location, you just pick whatever pixel you're using. Uh, for placements, always do only TikTok. I don't even know the other ones really. So um, I can't really say much. But So I always pick TikTok. You're going to turn off the user comment, video download, and video sharing. I don't really think it's worth it having them on, honestly. And then for the targeting, you're just going to leave it blank. All right, now for budget and schedule, you're going to schedule uh, for the next day at 6 a.m. That's what I'm doing right here. Um, and then for the bidding optimization, you're just going to do conversions. Um, I have tested a couple times with the value. Didn't really perform well for me, so I always choose conversions. And then you just click continue again, and then you're going to get to this page where we're going to put our ads and then launch the campaign. Uh, for this CBO, you're going to um, turn on the Smart Creative Ads and add your five best creatives that you got. I actually have six really good creatives that I want to test it out, so I'm just going to put those. And then for the text, just add whatever you want. Just make sure it's very like triggering and like it makes people want to click the ad. So what I did for mine is less chance to send um, tall at 70% off, um, improve your posture while getting snatched. Moving down, you're going to see the um, option for the destination. Just put your website and then for the interactive add-ons, I actually do rec recommend you guys testing it out. So I made a really simple display card just to place it there just because I think it looks nice and it draws more attention and then put your website and submit your campaign. All right, so now we're inside that CBO campaign that we just launched. And then what you want to do is um, click on copy and copy this ad group nine times. I know it's a lot, but copy it nine times. And you don't really need to change anything because it's literally a copy. So just press continue to ads and then submit again um, these ad groups. And when I'm testing a product, I usually start with three of these CBO campaigns and then I add two more ABOs. But I've actually been liking a lot more CBOs rather than ABOs because they have just been giving me better results. So that's what I'm going to do for this product. All right, as you guys can see, now we have our CBO campaign with 10 ad groups. And right now what you have to do is literally just copy this exact same campaign three to five times. It depends on what um, you're testing. If you're going to be testing only CBO's campaigns, if you're only going to be publishing CBO campaigns for testing this product, I would usually do five of the same campaigns at 50 bucks. But if you're doing ABOs, I usually do three CBO campaigns and then two ABO campaigns. And I'm going to show you guys now what the ABO campaigns looks like. All right. So now we're back at this page. It's basically the same thing. You're just going to pick um, the website conversions. And then for the name, just change it to ABO one testing. And then right here, you're not really going to um, mess with the campaign budget anymore because we're doing an ABO campaign. You're going to again, select your pixel, do everything the same, honestly. All right. For targeting, you're also not going to put anything. We're going to leave it broad. And then for the budget and schedule, you're, this is where it changes from the CBO. You're actually going to put the daily budget to 25 to start, and then we can bump that budget if the ad performs well. And then for the schedule, same thing, next day at 6 a.m., um, bidding op optimization, always conversion, like I said, and then you click next. All right, on the ad creative page, it changes a little bit too. You're not going to turn the smart creative ads on. You're just going to upload one creative and then add one text line. 
All right, so I added the creative, I added the text line, just one, the same one as um, the CBO campaign. I added the interactive add-on, and then I'm just gonna put the website and publish. All right, so now we're inside the ABO campaign with the ad group we just published. And what you wanna do is basically just copy based on the amount of ad creators that you have. So I have six, so I'm gonna be um, copying, let's make five copies, so it's uh, six in total. Once you get to this page, you're not gonna change anything, just press continue um, to ads. And then on the next page is where we're gonna change some things up. All right, so on this page is where you're gonna change the ad creative to the other ones that you have. So each ad group is gonna have one creative. So one creative per ad group. So you're just gonna click on the ads right here and then change the creative that you're using. Cause it's all gonna be the same if you leave it like this. So just change it to, to the other creatives that you have. And then you're gonna publish again and we're all done with this ABO. All right guys, and there you go. You have your ABO. In my case, it's with uh, six ad groups, each at 25 bucks. Each ad group has one ad creative, um, which is different every time. So the first one has one ad creative, the second one has another video, the third one, another video, just to test out which one um, brings the most traffic to our website. All right, we got our product, we built our website page, we launched the ads, now it's time to wait and see the money come in. All right, so now I'm gonna come back tomorrow once this campaign starts spending, and hopefully if they perform well, I'm gonna show you guys how I scale um, these ad campaigns so we can make a lot more money. All right, guys, we're back. It's currently 1.36 p.m., so about uh, 24 hours since we st uh, first started this challenge, and the campaigns already started spending. It took a while, actually. It didn't start spending until like around 10 um, a.m. this morning. I don't know what happened. Um, I think it was in review for a really long time because it's a new product. I'm not sure why. Um, it was scheduled for 6 a.m. and that's what I recommend you guys doing. But anyways, let's get to the results. All right, so I have my computer right here open already on my TikTok ads manager. I just wanted to come on here because the campaigns haven't spent that much yet, but we already got some sales. So, so I just want to show you guys the process of me scaling campaigns that are actually performing really well. Yesterday, I actually published 10 campaigns that I showed you guys, um, literally all the same. I didn't do any ABOs just because I don't have much luck with those. They don't really do well for me. So instead, I just launched um, 10 CBOs and they're actually performing really well. Just a reminder, all these campaigns actually started at the budget of 50 bucks. Um, I did bump this, um, the first three right here, just because they are performing really well. We have a really low CPA, as you guys can see. Um, CBO2 testing is currently at 2.49 um, per order. And then we have a ROAS of 11.2, which is crazy most of our campaigns are profitable which is crazy like literally on the first day i do have campaigns that like spent a little but didn't get any sales but i did keep them on this one right here i actually um turned it off by accident um i have no idea why what happened but it was an accident it didn't really spend that much but i didn't get any sale anyway so i am keeping these both on um to spend a little more in case um it just needs a little bit more money to spend in order to convert and then for the campaigns that are spending and performing well i actually bumped the budget to 150 for these first three and i'm just gonna let them spend uh for a while now um, before i bump the budget again just so we don't um, mess up the optimization and then for these ones right here, I did get a sale or two. So for these, I'm gonna wait a little bit more to see if they're gonna make any more sales and then bump the budget to 150. But as of now, guys, I'm actually really impressed and really happy about these results. We're actually, we might actually be able to scale this product. I'm not gonna lie. Well, let's see how it does. It's currently 142. So we're just gonna see how this goes. Questions you guys may have is like, when do you know when to bump the budget? Personally, me, like this is my strategy and what do I do, like it might not work for everybody. But once I get like two to three sales and I see that like it has a really good ROAS and like the cost per click, 
and like the the CTR really good. I just bumped the budget because it means that the campaign is performing really well. And if you bump the budget, it's gonna show that campaign to um, a lot more people. And hopefully by bumping the budget, it's just gonna also increase the sales. So when you guys do bump the budget, it is important for you guys to just let it spend a little bit. And to be honest, I think I bumped this campaigns a little early. I think I should have let it spend a little bit more, but that's just because our, the CPAs are actually really good. So I just bumped the budget and we're gonna see how it spends. I'm gonna let these spend for a while now. And what I would do now, I actually did it already. I started to make more campaigns of the same one. I actually published another 10 and I'm just gonna let these spin. Um, also, just like the other ones, and if they um, perform well, I'm gonna bump the budget and then just gonna keep that um, cycle going. So what you guys always wanna do, if you see that a campaign is working, always 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 just copy that same exact campaign multiple times the more campaigns you have more sales you're gonna get if the campaign spin well so always just keep 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 um copy and pasting all of these campaigns so you actually get um campaigns that are performing well and the ones that aren't you just turn them off and that's what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the day. To be honest, I'm gonna just keep bumping the budget um, for the ones that are performing really well. And then for the ones that aren't, I'm just gonna um, turn that campaign off and then keep making new ones. And for tomorrow, the plan is basically the same. We're just gonna see what ad creatives actually perform well and is driving traffic to our website. And with that, we're just gonna create a lot more campaigns with those creatives so we can scale even harder. All right, guys, I'm back and I'm finally here to give you guys an update on our challenge. And unfortunately, it didn't go as planned. And <laughs> that's no good. <laughs> so on the day the campaigns were launched at 6 a.m., it was actually my sister's birthday and I had a lot of planning to do. I was actually really busy, so I didn't really have much time to be checking the ads and creating new campaigns. So I just let the campaign spin and not really give much attention and bumping the budget. And that's probably why when I checked at the end of the day, most of the campaigns were actually dying, which just means it wasn't performing really well and probably because I wasn't bumping the budget throughout the day. So what I did was actually just turn off those campaigns and then make new ones, the exact same ones scheduled for 6 a.m. in the next day. And then on the final day of the challenge, the last day we had to run ads, I actually got a text from my supplier saying that they weren't going to accept any more orders because of the Chinese New Year. And because during that time, everything closes in China, like the factories won't process and ship out any more of the orders. And because of that, I couldn't accept any more orders. So I had to turn off the ads immediately. And that actually really sucked because we were literally killing that day. The ads were performing super well and we were actually going to be able to scale on the final day of the challenge. Ah! But like I said, when I saw the text, I had to immediately just stop running the ads because then I was just going to get in trouble and there's like no point of accepting orders if I'm not going to ship them out. But that's okay, we did finish the challenge a little earlier than expected, but I'm here to show you guys the results. And believe it or not, we were actually profitable both days, both day one and two, which is crazy. Because like I said, dropshipping is not as easy as many people think. And for me to just be profitable on the first two days of the challenge was actually crazy to me. Because usually when I'm testing out a product that I feel like has potential of scaling, I'm usually on the negative side on the first couple of days or breaking even. And to see profits like this literally on the first two days of testing out this product just means that this product has a lot of potential. All right, so I have my computer right here in front of me and I'm gonna screen record and show you guys the results. All right, so we did run the campaigns from the 20th to the 21st. Um, that's the day we actually had to turn off the campaigns a little earlier. And we actually made almost $5,000 in sales in two days. This is probably the most I have made when testing our product on the first couple of days. So there is definitely potential with this product and I'm definitely gonna keep on trying to scale this product after the Chinese New Year. All right, but we all know that 5K is not what I'm gonna be taking home. So let's break down the cost and to actually see our profit. All right, so time for the truth. We did $4,985.21 in sales. Um, I had to pay to my supplier $1,440, leaving us with $3,545.21. And now for the ad spend, we actually spent $2,343.13 leaving us with a profit of $1,202.08.
So for this 72 hour drop shipping challenge that we actually had to stop a little earlier, we were able to make a profit of $1,200. And like I said, guys, I'm not trying to make dropshipping sound easy and promising you that you're going to get these results in literally two days. I try to be completely honest and realistic throughout this whole journey so you guys can see my testing strategy. And this really just means that this was a really good product, that my website looked good, and my ad strategies was also good. So please don't be discouraged if you don't see these results on the first couple of days of testing out your product because giving up is never the answer. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some value from it and hopefully motivated you guys a little bit because making money with dropshipping is definitely possible. This is a completely new channel and I'm slowly getting used to making new videos so please don't mind the quality or any errors there might be in the video. And I promise you guys that with time it will get better so please subscribe, leave a like because that just shows me that what I'm doing is working and that you guys like these type of videos. And before I end this video, I just want to remind you that my Instagram will always be in the description if you want to reach me for anything. If you have questions or need help, I'm more active there, so I'll probably answer you way faster. All right, guys, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got some value, and I'll see you on the next one.